Are you working from home right now and it feels a little chaotic and your schedule's not tight, so things seem to get maybe lost in the shuffle? It's Whitney Cowell, and as a certified coach, I coach people on well-being. And I also am a business coach and help them build a at-home business as a side hustle for a lot of people, and some people it's for a full-time business. But if you're working from home and you're feeling a little bit scattered, this is what I usually recommend, and this is what I do for myself. Make a list, track, and this is what I do for people who wanna get healthy and take off some weight is you wanna write down every single thing you do every day. Like, for example, let's say that you have to get ready for a Zoom. You don't know how to use the technology. Write down what time you're starting and what time you're done. You wanna clock in and clock out on a journal so that you're really clear. Because at the end of the week, if you feel like, gosh, I got nothing done, look back and you can track where am I investing my time and where do I need to reshuffle it? And this is true for food as well. So anybody who's looking to get healthy, um, happy to help with that. And this is one way to track it. What's going into my mouth every day and what time? Because I think a lot of people who are at home tend to not pay attention to how frequently they're eating. Uh, these, are, these are helpful tools. And at the end of the night, I think it's really important for me to take a look at, okay, I'm gonna close. It's like any call that I do, I wanna stop five minutes before the call is over to schedule the next call wrap up, make sure that the person on the other end got their needs met, and if there's anything, questions or anything we need to address, that we're planning ahead so I can stop on time. And that's true for the end of the evening. You wanna have office hours. So if you're working from 6 a.m. until 6 p.m., then at 5.30 at night or 5.50, depending on how much time you wanna prepare for the following day, slow down and look over what did you accomplish, what do you need to move to the next day. And it's easy once you get in the habit of it, but until you start treating your job from home like a job if someone was watching you, it can be challenging. And my opinion is everybody needs a coach. So having an accountability buddy or somebody who can help guide you is helpful as well. Cheers to everybody who's getting through this together. It's, uh, it's a challenge in many ways for different people in different ways. So congratulations for uh, doing your best to create a schedule and something that makes you happy.